Welcome to the heart of severe weather research. Here at the NOAA National Severe Storms Laboratory, innovation meets Mother Nature head on. Through the years, our tools have evolved, but one thing remains true. You can't learn it all in a lab. Our researchers must venture out into the field for the vital data that fuels our work. From tornadoes and flooding to lightning and winter storms, we study it all. We develop and build precision instruments, pioneer the technologies and methodologies of tomorrow and put it all to the test while racing against time and the awe-inspiring forces of nature. Come along as we join researchers with the recent Taurus project on their quest to unravel the mysteries of supercells and tornado formation. Buckle up! At this point, we're about a week and a half into Taurus, and, and you know we've moved around the country a lot. We've tried to sample in different areas. And Monday was really the first chance that we really had to kind of operate on what eventually became a pretty significant event. Today, we're just west of Lubbock, Texas, in a little town called Level Land and we're watching the dry line to our west. We, we have forecasts and information that soon we might have some storms out here not far west of us, and we're gonna intercept those storms. We have all of these sensors we're gonna deploy. Our radar is gonna sit back a little ways and scan the whole storm. storm grew in strength and, and started to identify those more classic rotation signatures that we're looking for. You know, our, our mission focus sort of narrows in on, on those regions. Uh, it was pretty rapid change of kind of the intensity, I would say, of the, the event, uh, going from a situation that didn't really have a whole lot of like low-level visible rotation to something that was very rapidly producing a wall cloud and then ultimately a, what was a pretty large tornado. And we were there to capture it and almost a, a perfect data set was collected. We got a lot of data on a supercell. We had three different deployments for a total of almost three hours time period, the total evolution of the storm. So that's very good for us, a mobile radar. And I think putting it with all the other good data we got, that's going to be a very interesting case for analysis after the program. For NSSL, incredible days like these have been part of our field research legacy for more than 50 years. These storm expeditions are crucial for deepening our understanding of severe thunderstorms and refining forecasts and warnings. Be sure to follow us for more groundbreaking research from in the lab and out in the field. <laughs>